how do we turn that off long enough to say there is a reset? Well, you know, for me, I always say to people, why don't you take a nap? It can be 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Take a power nap. Just absolutely shut down for however long you can shut down and come back up. It's just like when you turn your computer off. When you're having trouble with your computer and you just don't know what to do anymore. Oftentimes, you turn it off. True. You're having trouble with your phone. It's just not working right. Something's stuck. It's just you turn it off. Mm -hmm. And when you turn it back on, those problems are resolved. Hey, welcome back to Spirituality and Court. I'm Jeff Harrison along with Reverend Rebecca. You know, Reverend Rebecca, I really, I, I, I want to kick it up a notch. I mean, <laughs> let's face it, you are a, you are an amazing student of science of mind and you explain it so well. Here's, here's what's going on. I'm just a guy in the street. You know, I, I have questions and I guess I need... I need some of those what I feel like non-religious questions answered that I can say, hey, I still have to go to work the next day. I've got kids, I don't have any kids, but if I have kids or whatever, I still have to, I still have to relate and I, I, I don't have time for that woo-woo stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So are you okay with that? Sure, that'd be great. Okay. I just want to relate something, and I know I'm not the only one, but I know sometimes we feel like we're the only ones where... I am very driven to be successful. Mm -hmm. And I've always been this way of like, I may not be the sharpest pencil in the box, but you will never outwork me, <laughs> right? And my mind, and again, I know there's people watching in the same way, my mind is going all the time. And I'm working all the time. And even when I'm supposed to be down, taking some downtime, I have this level of like, well, now I feel guilty because I'm not working because I must be falling further behind. I guess what I'm looking for is, how do I, is there a balance there? Or is it, you know, when can I rest and when can I relax? Well, you know, the question is, should you work harder or should you work smarter? I feel like I work pretty smart. Okay. Yeah. So let me just say this, you know, I feel that we get really caught up. And when we get caught up, our clarity isn't always there. We can't see all the trees because we're so deep in the dark forest mm. that we can't see what's around us that could support us, that could help us. So I always ask people, so do you think you need to think more or do you think you need to relax more? And Jeez. that's the same thing, Jeff. Mm. You know, maybe if you could just take a deep breath and quiet your mind for a minute and go from the foundation of a quiet mind you could see what was going on in your work in a different way mm. because you know that sometimes we get stuck in that vibration and that vibration may not be the one that's bringing us the answer it might be the vibration of the problem now you bring up that you bring up this word vibration, and, and when you said that, all I could see is a hamster on a hamster wheel. Exactly. Is that is that a metaphor for the vibration? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. So you know, Einstein said the problem and the solution are not in the same vibration. Right. So you know how to do what you're doing. You know how much money you make, you know how many hours it takes to get there, you have all those contacts, so you seem to have that down. But now you want something else. You want something that is at least as good as what you have now, but what you really want is something better. Sure. So you can't stay where you're at. Mm. You gotta give yourself a minute to let the new come in. And so you're saying give myself a minute is that time where I I get off that hamster wheel. It's a reset. Mm. It's a relaxing, a reset through relaxation. So how do we do that? Give me, give me, give me something that you I, know. Some that people we can do. ride a bike. Okay. Some people run. Some people play golf or tennis. Some people pick a chair in their house and they sit in it, and they just relax. Mm. And they know that when they sit in that chair, they're in a safe place, and new ideas are going to come to them. And we can just program it every time we do whatever we love to do. Some people love to meditate. Some people love to run. But they both get a reset when they do it. Now, when you say you said something that, that 
I guess I'm trying at times not to get more ideas because my, my mind is always in that creative mode. I mean, just before we came on, we were talking about some things and my mind is always in that creative mode. And I just taught a class this morning to a group of business owners and it, it doesn't surprise me, but it surprises the people we're talking to when they bring up a, a question and they don't know what that next step is, and I give them something that is incredibly valuable for them for a business idea or how to, like this was content, creating content. And so my mind is always going. So I guess for me, is it, is it how do we turn that off long enough to say there is a reset? Well, you know, for me, I always say to people, why don't you take a nap? It can be 10 minutes. Mm. Take a power nap. Just absolutely shut down for however long you can shut down and come back up. It's just like when you turn your computer off. When you're having trouble with your computer and you just don't know what to do anymore, oftentimes you turn it off. True. You're having trouble with your phone. It's just not working right. Something's stuck. It's just you turn it off. Mm. And when you turn it back on, those problems are resolved. Mm. True. Can you see that? So you're not saying run away from... No, okay. I'm saying take three minutes, gotcha. take five minutes, take ten minutes. Just give yourself a chance to reset. Gotcha. We are always willing to push ourselves, but we're not always willing to allow ourselves to reset. True. And when we do that, when we can take that deep breath and say, okay, I'm going to reset, then the universe says, okay, we're going to bring in all the things that person needs to reset. Mm. And what happens is as you calm, you feel different, your body's different, your vibration changes, and all that chaos that was just running on the hamster wheel falls away. Do we, do we when you say reset, do we actually go into that quiet time or the nap or whatever it is, with that thought we're, we're doing this for a reset? Do we, we actually can. put that in We in can, place? but you know, we do it every single night and we don't think of it like that. Yeah. But when you go to bed at night, you're resetting. And when we wake up in the morning, all that other stuff, unless we've been playing it in a loop all night. <laughs> and some people do that. Yeah. All that other stuff is gone. Mm. And in that moment, all the stuff that has gone on looks different. Don't we always say that? It looks True. different in the morning? True. Sleep on it, they say. Sleep on it. Yeah, looks different in the morning. Well, do me a favor. Just kind of give me a recap. Those watching, just give us a recap. Because we talked about a lot because I've kind of dug into that a bit of okay, my mind or our minds are running all the time. We feel like we have to be going all the time. And you're saying something different. Give us that, give us that recap. I'm you. saying give yourself the chance to reset so that the universe can bring to you what you need to make your business better, to make your life better, to support you in the way that you need to be supported. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all it takes is one minute, three minutes, five minutes, you choose and you decide how you're going to do it, but do it consciously. Just say, okay, I'm working too hard and I must not be working as smart as I want to work because it doesn't feel good to me, hmm. to me. There's no judgment. You know, nobody knows how someone else is supposed to work, but if it doesn't feel good, it isn't right. Yeah. So allow yourself to relax, to have a reset. Give yourself a chance to be supported by the universe. I love it. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. Hey, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, this is, uh, again, we took a little bit different avenue. It's just because, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm just a guy that I, I attend the church. I'm not, a, I'm not a practitioner. I'm not a minister. And Reverend Rebecca, thank you again for all the time to do this and, and really just kind of fill these questions. Uh, we're going to kind of keep going down this road. I know uh, next week I've got another another uh, question I already wrote down that we're going to discuss or we're, that we discuss that we're going to talk about. In the meantime, how can people get involved in the center? Well, we offer classes every single day. We offer uh, community organizations. We offer uh, book groups. We offer lots of things for you to be part of. And of course, there's always nine o'clock and eleven o'clock on Sunday mornings. 
Yeah, and you can find all of this at cslpalmdesert.org. On this, you'll see that on the screen now, and we'll put the information on there. If you decide you can't physically make it, but you still want to get connected, we have a great, growing virtual community with our live streamers. We have classes on that as well as the Sunday on the 9/11 that we live stream. Just go to our website. You'll see it. It says Watch Live Stream, and you can click on there and become a part of our community. Whether you live in the Coachella Valley or you live in the you know, who knows what valley. Uh, we'd love for you to have it. So in the meantime, my name is Jeff Harrison. And I'm Reverend Rebecca. And we'll see you next week on... Spirituality Uncorked.